And because of that shooting, one man earned a new title. Hero James Shaw Jr. wrestled the gun away from the shooter, potentially saving more lives. Here's what he told our Chris Conti just hours later. His gun either got jammed or he was trying to reload. Not exactly sure, but I saw my opportunity, my window. So I took it and uh, I ran through the door as fast as I can and uh, just kind of mo jammed him up with the gun when he pointed down. And then we started kind of wrestling for it and scuffling and fighting for it. And um, after he, he let it go with one hand and then when he just had, had it in his other hand, I just took it and I tossed it over the, um, the counter. Now, Shaw was injured during that scuffle. In the past year, Shaw used his now household name for good. Just this past summer, he joined us here on News Channel 5 this morning to talk about the new James Shaw Jr. Foundation. I just want the whole city of Nashville, no matter your ethnicity or nationality or uh, uh, religious background, to come out and uh, put our minds together and come up with a solution for this violence that's going on. Shaw says the mission of the organization is to work with the community and advocates to eradicate violence and also address mental health issues. It's that type of work that had him in Washington, D.C. Just a few weeks ago, the U.S. Justice Department gave Shaw a special courage award. It's awarded to victims or survivors who show perseverance or determination in dealing with their own victimization. Coming up later today on News Channel 5, our Matthew Torres sits down with Shaw to find out how he's doing today and now. And the big issues he hopes to tackle next. And he's already stopped by that memorial where Mo was at the Waffle House a little earlier this morning to pay his respects.